Hey everybody, it's Serena. I'm just coming to you today to give you a couple of indicators of whether or not you're backslidden. Yes, I said backslidden. Are you in a backslidden state or is your relationship with God up to par? Um, a lot of times we don't talk about the backslidden state, but it is possible. And one clue, this is the first of a couple that I'll give, but one clue that you could be backslidden, and when I say backslidden, I mean, you know, away from the presence of God, you're not in right standing with God, um, you're not submitted to God like you should be, and um, you're pretty much not really saved. And I know that there's gospel going around saying once you're saved, you're always saved, and, you know, you can do whatever you want to do. Um, uh, but that's contrary to the word of God. So could you be backslidden? Uh, first clue I would give is to say that you haven't repented in a long time. Repent, R-E-P-E-N-T. You have not gone through repentance in a long time. You have no godly sorrow. The Bible says godly sorrow leads us to repentance. Could you uh, be in a state where you haven't repented. And I don't know about you, but uh, the Bible says, you know, shall we continue in sin? And see, a lot of times we think that it's grace that will cover us and we're okay. And I'm telling you, that's a trick of the enemy. If you have a relationship with God and you're in constant communication with him, or you are aware of him and in all your ways that you're acknowledging him, uh, he should be able to direct your path. If he can't direct your path, if you are able to do what you want to do, if you're not picking up your cross daily following after him, then there's a problem. If you're not convicted, and see, now I'm going into two things because, you know, if you're not convicted, there's no Holy Spirit there to convict you, which lets you, which should let you know that somebody's not governing you. The Holy Spirit is not governing you. You may be governing yourself, which means you're being led by the flesh. And the Bible says we shouldn't be led by the flesh. We should be led by the spirit. OK, so it's possible that if you're not being if you're not led by the spirit, you're led by your flesh. You're probably not repenting because you don't think there's anything wrong. And if you find it hard to repent, I mean, because repentance is not just apologizing. I mean, because you can apologize to someone and just honestly be sorry for it. But you know you intend, you know, you're not going to change. It's just who you are. But when you repent, you turn away from your wrongdoing. And it's about your heart, you know. Do you intend to do this? Are you struggling with it or are you okay with it? So at least if you're struggling to do right, if, if you're struggling to get, you know, set free of a certain thing, you know, at least I could say with that, you know, God is dealing with you. The Holy Spirit is moving you. You're praying, you repent, you know, that's what this life is about. Paul said, every time I try to do right, you know, wrong is right there. So it's a battle. Repentance is a weapon of warfare. You know, if you're having problems, you're having issues, I dare you to confess and repent. Turn from it. Turn from it. And it doesn't take your power to do it. It's like, you know what? I've made a decision. I don't want to be like this. I don't want to do this. Lord, can you help me take this out of my... I don't want to just apologize to you, Lord. I don't want to do this again. I don't want to ever find myself in this place. I need you to help me. And then however many times you fall, the Bible says a righteous man falls seven times but gets back up. You know, at least you're dealing with God with that. But if you can stand and say, you don't even know when the last time you repented, you mean to tell me you have not been convicted on anything? You've been living a safe, sanctified life? And if you can say, oh, yeah, that's me. If you can say, no, nah, I, I don't have to repent because I'm good. Then something is wrong with you. Then, then you need to repent for being deceived. You need to repent for the demon of lies and deception that's around you that you submitted to. You should be repenting every day. You should be taking inventory of what your life is like. You should be going before the Lord, going before the Father, asking him to clean you of anything in you that's not like him. And the fact of the matter is we're not perfect. 
we need cleansing. And like I was like I was saying, it's a weapon of warfare. If you go and you begin to repent and denounce things, meaning reject things, you know, um, the things that are not right, the things that's not like God, you know, go before God, ask him to reveal himself to you. Ask him to show you the ugly in you. Ask him to change you, to wash you, to cleanse you. Lord, I don't want to be like this. Turn me from these wicked ways. Take Change my life. I, I'm doing this and it's not right. I, I need to be different. I need to be whole. I need to be set free. You know, you repent and you go to the Father. But if you can't say that you're doing it, because look, once you do that, as you continue to do that, you'll find that can't no enemy stay on you. Because as soon as you repent, you'll find that you 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 got peace. You, you're whole. You're happy. The presence of God can come in. He can regulate your situation. He can actually lead and guide you. Some of you, God can't even lead and guide you. You do what you want to do. So you don't need to repent. I think I'm getting into too much other stuff. But anyway, when you repent, you got a clean slate. When you repent, God remembers that no more. He cleans your slate. You get peace. You get joy. The enemy cannot hold you in bondage when you are a person that continues to repent and go before the Lord and ask him to clean you. Can't nothing hold you down. So anyway, that's just one. Of course, I kind of skipped into a couple others. But anyway, I'll talk to you later. Bye.